Hey guys, no gas Nico here. I don't know what's going on. You know how much I love my Nissan Leafs. Um, so much so I have three of them. Uh, so I had this happen. Um, we're gonna cut right to the chase. We're gonna get right into the video. And I'm gonna be playing the video over here. So you can see, I'm gonna stay right here with you through the video and I'll make some commentary as we go by and see what happened and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, here it goes. Let's start the video. That's pretty much the same car as the Ford What the? What the? It wouldn't go. Car, I pushed the accelerator. It wouldn't go. Big error popped up on the screen. Service EV system. Reduce power mode. What am I going to do? I don't know. I'm Right now, I'm just trying to get the car to move. No. Turning it on and off. I'm freaking out. So at this point, I don't know what's going on. I think my car is toast. I turn my hazards on. My son's not happy. There we go. Takes off. But I'm in reduced power mode. I got the turtle on the dash. You can see it behind me. Reduced power mode. Well, but see, I got the turtle. Just playing against my son. And this song was playing on the radio. I don't have the rights to it. And you can see here, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. I never can go above 25 miles an hour. Now, I had to go to a bake sale for my daughter. And so I had an obligation. I had to get there. So I drove there all 25 miles an hour. And I had to get back home at 25 miles an hour. So I don't know what's going on. Is there a problem with my 62 kilowatt battery? Is there a problem with one of the modules in that battery? Is this a 12 volt battery problem? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. But right now all I know is there's something seriously wrong with my car. And we had just not even a week prior taken it out of town with 150 miles away from town and did a round trip, stayed a night at a hotel. So thank God this didn't happen while I was out of town. So this is part one of my series. I don't, still don't know what's going on. Uh, what I did, what did I do? Well, first I ran Leaf Spy and I got all these errors. You can see them behind me. Uh, that's kind of crazy. So I did a test on my 12 volt battery. Came back 11 volts, not good. Um, so I went to Sam's Club and I bought a new battery. Figured it's easier than going to the dealership. The only Nissan Leaf dealership approved is like 40, 45 miles away. So it was just easier for me to go to Sam's Club, spend $137, slap a new 12 volt battery in. Used Leaf Spy, cleared all the codes. Uh, I drove the car the next couple of days. Everything seemed to be running okay. I'd already made an appointment at my dealership for this coming to uh, Wednesday. So Tuesday, I'm going to take the car in. Uh, I didn't cancel my appointment because I know you should never celebrate a win too early. So what happened? I drove a car a couple of days. The error came back. Checked the voltage on the battery again. The 12 volt battery, it's low. Got a lot of the same error codes from Lee Spy. So what does that mean? That means either A, there's something majorly wrong with my traction battery, or B, the DC to DC converter which basically is an alternator for EVs. Um, since there is no alternator, there is no engine, internal combustion engine spinning, um, they use a DC to DC converter. So basically the main battery, the traction battery, will recharge the 12 volt battery for all your accessories and your computer and all that other stuff, your windows, everything else a 12 volt battery works on. An ICE car works the same on an electric vehicle. ICE being internal combustion engine for those of you that don't know. So, what do I got going on? Do I have a battery failure, a main battery failure, or is this just a 12 volt charging system? I have no idea. The car's still under warranty. I have a 100,000 bumper to bumper, uh, 10 year, 100,000 mile. I also have an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on the main battery. So, I'm not too concerned because Nissan should fix this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take it in and I will report back to everybody on part two and what the dealership found 
And we're going to track this process in uh, my first ever warranty claim with a Nissan Leaf. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a Nissan Leaf and you've had a similar situation, please share in your comments. I'd like to know personally. And maybe those of you looking to buy an EV may want to know some of this information too. And uh, you can see in the video here, I'm, I'm only going 25 miles an hour. That's the fastest I can go. Um, had the hazard lights on. Nothing I can do. It was, the car was in reduced power mode. It does that for safety. So, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, especially click that notification bell so when I do part two, you'll be notified and you can see how this turns out. All right, that's it for now. Thank you and God bless.